creatively display your student responses in a dynamic word cloud. This word cloud is automatically generated based on your student responses and all done right inside PowerPoint. Today, I'll show you 12 creative ways that you can use word clouds to transform your teaching game with one simple tool in PowerPoint. And the best part, it only takes less than one minute of setup. All right, first up, word cloud activities make great icebreaker questions. To set this up in your PowerPoint presentation, open up your PowerPoint file, whether that is a blank one or one that you've already created like I have here. Then we'll want to add a new slide into our presentation and type out our icebreaker question. From here, we can click on the Ink No Class Point tab in our PowerPoint ribbon, then on the Word Cloud icon to add a Word Cloud button onto our slide to make it interactive. In the side panel, you can adjust the settings as needed. And if you don't have this Class Point tab in your PowerPoint ribbon, Class Point is a free PowerPoint add-in that brings engagement and interactivity into your class with the ability to receive live student responses like this. And really, that's all the setup we need to run an interactive word cloud in our next presentation. It is so quick and easy. So if you don't have this class point tab, make sure you create an account and download for free with the link down below. Start a new lesson with a word cloud warm up. You can use this to ask your students a low stakes question or to gather what they already know when starting a new topic to get them instantly involved and ready to participate. Once you've added that word cloud question button and you're ready to engage your students during your presentation, we can enter our slideshow and invite our students to join the class. To do that, you can click on the class code up here in the corner and they can scan the QR code or they can go to classpoint.app on any browser using any device, type in this class code that they see and their name. Once they're all joined in, you can open up the question and students can begin submitting their responses. And you'll be able to see all of the responses live on screen. Collecting your students' opinions and displaying them visually helps them move from passively listening to actively forming opinions and connecting concepts. When you're running a word cloud question in PowerPoint, you have the opportunity to hide student responses with this eye icon right here or by minimizing the window. That way, students are forming and creating their own opinions instead of being influenced by their classmates. When you're ready to view all the responses and all the students have submitted, you can just click back into this yellow button and unhide the responses or just close the question. Use these word clouds to segue into a classroom discussion. After your students have submitted their own thoughts and opinions anonymously into the word cloud, they can take a look at the different points of view and angles of their classmates. Then you can discuss as a class if they agree or disagree with some of these submissions. With ClassPoint, you can actually insert this whole word cloud as a slide into your presentation. Then when you're discussing as a class, you can use the annotation tools to highlight and write down any of the main points that you guys have been discussing. Of course, you can use word clouds for brainstorming. Self-producing and analyzing a list of possibilities can help students get their creative ideas flowing and help narrow down a path that they wanna move forward. When students are submitting their responses in ClassPoint to ensure full participation, you can check on this live status button and give a nudge to any of those who haven't submitted yet. Get your students to reproduce what they are learning by asking them to summarize a main point in class. You can use it at the end of class to show what they know during a review session or at the beginning of class to recall a topic that they've previously learned. Or for this example here, we've asked our students to submit one word answers to summarize that brainstorming session we just had. Once all the responses have been submitted and the question is closed, we can highlight the top answers to prioritize which ideas to focus on and explore further. Then dive deeper into these highlighted responses by clicking on that response and awarding stars as feedback. Quickly get immediate visual feedback from your students when you're using a word cloud. This display of responses helps identify any topics that were missed by your students and need revisiting, and helps you identify any students that may be struggling with a major aspect of the topic. After class, you can dive deeper into any of the responses that are incorrect in your word cloud to see who submitted that response and then touch base with them after class. If you do feel that your word cloud is getting too big, you can search for an answer to make sure that it was included. When working on learning a new language, ask students to submit different ways to say verbs, adjectives, or idiomatic expressions. This can help them think creatively and boost their confidence when they realize learning languages is really tough. 
to help boost their confidence a little bit more and give them some feedback, make sure you're awarding stars to all of your students for participating. Then you can also show them the leaderboard to see where they rank amongst their peers. To learn more about this leaderboard and other gamification features that you can use in ClassPoint in conjunction with all the other features, take a look at the video linked up above. And now for our last four ideas on using WordCloud in your PowerPoint presentation. You can ask your students to share about their experience after a lesson, a field trip, or a guest speaker. If you want to have an open discussion about divisive, controversial, or vulnerable topics, using a word cloud is great so that students can submit anonymously and ease into that vulnerable opinion sharing. Plus, seeing similar opinions or new ideas might help students feel more comfortable speaking out after this low-risk activity. Prioritizing social-emotional learning can be really important for students' mental health. However, answering questions or discussing emotional well-being can be really tough in front of a lot of people. That's where a word cloud comes in. Having this open discussion with your class could be a little bit better for your students instead of talking one-on-one. -on -one. And lastly, use WordCloud to gather student opinions. Students are able to feel heard when they see their opinions up on screen, and you can get a glimpse of a class opinion cloud. Now that you have all the different ideas and different ways to use WordCloud in your classroom, the next step is to download that free PowerPoint add-in ClassPoint. That way you can integrate these activities and get those live student responses in your next presentation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy interactive teaching!